everyone, we're back. I know that you missed us, but we're here. We're back from Vegas. It is Monday, January 16th, and we're going to take the back roads across America. This is RVNN Live, brought to you in part by Pet Hub and GoToMeeting. Today's program brought to you by Pet Hub. Protect your pet for pennies a day with critical contact, medical, and dietary information on a smartphone scannable ID tag. And by GoToMeeting, affordable online meetings that work so you can do more and travel less. Hey everyone, it's Courtney Wallen here at RVNN TV, and I'm joined by uh, Andy McCaskey. It's it's been quite a while. It's great to be back. It's great to be back, and uh, boy, we've had a lot of stories to tell, as do a couple other RVNN uh, folks that uh, were <laughs> were accompanying us there at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Absolutely. We'll have uh, many stories, and uh, there's a possibility you might get sick of it, but we think it's really interesting, so please be, <laughs> please be, um, what's the, polite? Tolerant. Tolerant. Tolerant, polite. yeah. Uh, and particularly, particularly since uh, this was Courtney's first year, and uh, I think she was maybe a little bit in awe of, uh, of everything, just kind of like the, uh, the scope and intensity and, and, and so forth. Well, we'll talk about that, and uh, but, you know, I understand we got a guest today. Let's uh, jump right in. We do. And, uh, you know, I was actually introduced to our guest uh, after our 10 days of giving because she was actually the recipient of the uh, RVID. And uh, she sent me, you know, a thank you. Was very polite, very courteous, was really excited about getting this gift. And then she said, check out my website. And, and lo did. and behold, we have got a travel blogger on our hands. Uh, this is Nanette Cole from Backtracks America. Nanette, thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited. You're not Andy McCaskey. There you are. Uh, to have you today. And uh, you're from, you're in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Yes, ma'am. And uh, you have got quite a story. And uh, I, I would like to, for you just to tell your story about travel in general. And it's not really... Um, the RV kind of travel that you're, you're talking about, but it's travel, and that's what we're interested in. So if you could just go ahead and, and just tell us your story, uh, it's a great one. Well, uh, eight, when I was 18 years old, I wanted to get in my car and travel the back roads across small town America. Um, I feel that it's the small town people that are the heartbeat of America. Um, instead, I got married, had kids, business, all that good stuff. Uh, 30 years later, I uh, was diagnosed with malignant melanoma, and after going through, after waiting the five days for the test results to come back, I decided it was time to put my dream into motion. And so now, uh, basically two weeks before I turn 48, I will be hitting the roads and traveling down the back roads and meeting what I call the people of America and writing their stories about the things they tell me and the lives they lead. That's fantastic. So. Uh, in your at your website, it talks about dreams never die. Thirty years right. later, you're setting yeah. that into motion, and I, I love that because we've talked to a lot of uh, travel bloggers, younger mm -hmm. travel bloggers, who have said, you know, it, there's no time like the present. And right. although that's great, uh, I think sometimes you it still, if it's a few years later than you had planned, it's still the present, <laughs> yeah. and, and to take that by the the handle and just go. Then that uh, kind of a question I ask a lot of times of people is, as you start out on this journey. What do you think is going to be easy, and what do you think is going to be hard for the next 12 months? Oh, hard is getting used to just being totally by myself. It's just going to be me and my dog. Um, I'm used to always having people around, friends, family, whatever. Uh, the easy, I guess, just meeting people. I can't wait. Uh, you know, I, I travel right now just on the weekends and go to different places that I hear about or somebody who does something a little unique and I write their stories and I just have a blast. I can't wait to get out there and just stay on the, on the road 24-7. Uh, what are some uh, destinations that you're, you don't really, I mean, do you have a, a full plan of where you'll be or is it just kind of wherever, wherever you're take, or taken, <laughs> where, <laughs> wherever you go? Wherever, wherever the next town goes. Uh, it, it's the, the towns have to be 6,000 or less, and I actually have taken two maps, two Ram McNally atlases, and I've highlighted every town 
uh, in every state that has 6,000 people or less. And I will go, you know, just based on whether I want to stay in state parks, national parks, and RV parks along the way. So the towns that, uh, the most towns around these parks are where I'll go. And of course, I'll be contacting the mayors and uh, the preachers and the sheriffs of the towns to, to find out who has the best story or who does something the most interesting. Oh. And those are the people that I'll meet and write about. That is going to be a fantastic experience. And you know, one of the things that, uh, as you said, I think is going to be easy is, uh, is getting people to, uh, to accept you and to welcome you. I, th I, think, I think they're going to talk your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh. it, everybody has a story. Tell me yours. Absolutely. I love that. I'm going to pull up your website here, too, as well, um, so we can show the folks at home what we're seeing here. Uh, this is uh, Backtracks. It's B-A-C-K-T-R-A-X dot com. Now, Nanette, are you um, traveling in a car? Are you doing the RV thing? Are you camping? What's your route of transportation, or is that yet to be determined as well? No, it will be an RV. Uh, I won't be getting it until next month. Uh, I knew if I had now, I'd be gone already. <laughs> and but I wanted to get it at least a month before I leave just so I could do a few test runs and see exactly what it is that I need to adjust or what I need to buy extra, that sort. But if I, if I bought the RV last year, I'd have been long gone. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you, you, you've got a bike rack on the back of that, too, in case you uh, uh, kind of need to get off the trail. Well, I'll be, I'll be towing my car uh, because, you know, I, I will be staying in the state parks but driving, you know, to the town. So I don't want to have to be towing along this big massive piece of machinery i just want my car mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you've got you're, uh, you're gonna have to have a fairly large rig then uh as far as to be capable of pulling your your car as well it uh the one i'm i'm getting is the fleetwood uh jamboree 31m hopefully that'll be big enough to tow my car <laughs> If not, I'm in trouble. All right. Well, t tell, tell us about your dog. Uh, and, and is he or she uh, up, for, up for the trip? Or uh, what, what do you think is going to happen there? Oh, uh, she's Callie. She's Callie Cole. Uh, she is, she's got to be the coolest dog I've ever had. She cannot wait to get in the car and go. In fact, I just took her to Wisconsin with me, and we drove straight through. And she was totally fine. Um, she loves to get in the car and go. Now, of course, this will be great in an RV where she can go in the back and lay down and not have to just be sitting in the seat next to me. But um, yeah, she's she's great as far as traveling. And and, and what what kind of uh, what kind of uh, animal is this? She's a, a mix between a Doberman and a Pit. Oh, she's a big dog. Uh -huh. Okay, well that 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 she's looks. Awesome. She'll be a good protection too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, that will kind of set the uh, set the tone as you come along, and uh, <laughs> going to be a great, great uh, companion for you. Dog on board, and uh, she has a pet hub tag. Oh, yes. So I saw yeah. the picture of that. Very cute. <laughs> she will not go missing. That is for sure. And uh, she'll be protected with that. So you've got the motorhome, which I actually don't think I had read all the way through that. Um, so that's really good to know. We love that, of course. Um, what was my other question about the motorhome? I had one right yeah. at the tip of my how, tongue. How are you go uh, going to, are you going to be able to, uh, uh, you, you're going to be taking a laptop and so forth along with you. Uh, how are you going to keep that uh, connected? Do you have a, uh, one of the, of uh, the Wi-Fi uh, cards, one of the, uh, uh, the Verizon, I can't think of the name of it, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, air card. Oh, are no. you going to have that? Is that the, your system or do you have some other system in mind? Well, I actually just usually plug it into my phone and I get the free Wi-Fi with that. Um, it just depends on where I'll be. If, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm in an area that has the free Wi-Fi, then I'll hook it up with that. If I find that the phone is not working out like I had hoped, then I'll just go ahead and get the, the, wi the air card. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking it one day at a time, basically. Okay. I don't know what's out there. So, so how much of a planner are you? Uh, have you, have you uh, figured out how you're going to stock this RV and have your menus planned, or are you going to kind of see what's available there in uh, local food? Um, I love to cook. Cooking is my biggest passion. Um, but I will, you know, I, I want the local diners. I want the local places. Uh, part of this is I will not step foot in one I will not eat any fast food or eat at a chain restaurant. Everything will either be cooked by me or in a diner, a local place there. Um, 
But yeah, you know, that's what I want to do some test runs first is to see what exactly it is that I can take and what I need to leave here. Right, right. And I think the other thing is there's so many. Um, I have a, a daughter and her husband that own a small um, uh, organic grocery type type place, and they, they just talk about uh, how important it is to look for that uh, for that buy local uh, sticker to uh, oh, yes. as, as a way of, of finding things and that. And then, of course, you have farmers markets and just all kinds of resources. Oh, I plan on definitely doing everything local. Uh, you know, I, I want to find the, the organic farmers and all. I know that there's a place up in Virginia that I can't wait to go see. Uh, I'm not going to give you the details because mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it. But, um, you know, everything's going to be locally bought. Uh, this, I'm going to stay out of the fast I'm, I'm going to stay off the fast lane. There won't be any interstate travel. I'll be back road. So. Did, did, did I happen to mention that uh, this is in a small town in Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence? <laughs> I think <laughs> not. What are you talking about? <laughs> See, you're you're my kind of girl, Annette, because I, I love the show low thing. And it was actually when we were in Vegas. I have to tell a quick story here. We went to a restaurant, and I said, I'm not eating chain while we're here. And uh, it was just a restaurant I hadn't heard of, but it happened to be a chain. And I said, okay, I can't back out because everyone else was going, so I had to go. Um, I love that. But I, my question is... Um, I could talk to you forever about this whole food and, and, and hole in the walls and all these great things you're going to discover. Just going to have to follow the, the website here. But have you driven an RV before? Because there's going to be some really great stories if you haven't, or even if you have. No, that will be actually the first video that I shoot is me driving it back. That's going to be pretty funny, I think. Um, I've never driven one. In fact, I'm terrified of heights. And I know that when I go through the mountains in uh, Colorado, I... I'll probably have to hire somebody to drive it. Um, I, I don't know how I'll do it, but hopefully after a few months of driving it, I'll be fine. There, there is a place called the Million Dollar um, uh, Highway that, uh, that you'll find there in Colorado. And uh, the reason that they were able to build the highway for a million dollars is they just dispensed with the guardrails and no extra expense. And uh, people then drive slowly enough that they pay attention, and it's actually not a bad road. <laughs> Well, that, that, uh, I've been through to Colorado once, and I've driven through there with one of my girlfriends, and I was scared just driving in the Jeep. I don't know how I'm going to do it in an RV, but it'll be interesting, and I'm sure I'll have cameras set up so that you can see the terrified look on my face as I'm doing it. Okay. Well, I sure hope that you'll be able to keep in touch with us. Uh, we would love to track your adventures and, uh, and, and so forth here and uh, learn more about what you find out about uh, America as you travel. I can't wait to go, and thank you so much, and I will be following you. Absolutely. And, and Annette, we would love to, uh, here, here's your plug, and this is shameless plugging. Uh, let us know your, your website, Facebook, Twitter, wherever they can find you. Uh, this is your chance to let them know how they can follow your travels coming up in, a, we talked about, about a month and a half or so. Spring is yeah. right around the corner. All right, the website is Backtracks America, that's T-R-A-X. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook.com, Backtracks at two, backtracks.2011 and then Twitter is N-A-N-E-T-T-L-K I believe I haven't checked it in a while uh, but any of those you can find that on my website and everything all the information is there okay and okay. we'll be sure and get that in our show notes mm -hmm. here so that people can uh, go in and get uh, the, the Twitter the Facebook and, and all the information that you have now that thanks so much for joining us uh, here today and uh, we'll look forward to the next time we have a chance to chat Thank you so much. Y'all have a good evening. You too. Thanks, Annette. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.